Hello everyone, welcome to Here We Go. In this video, I'll show you how to set up Leela Zero on Sabaki. This tutorial is for Mac computers only, and there are other online and YouTube resources for Windows computers. So the first step is to download the Sabaki Go software. You can just Google Sabaki Go, and then you'll be able to download it right here. Depending on your machine, you can download it from this GitHub web page. When you open Sabaki, it should look something like this. I often prefer a larger board. Anyway, we will set it up later. Next, we will install Homebrew on Terminal. So, you should first open Terminal, go to Spotlight Search, type in Terminal, and then open it. Next, we should figure out how to install Homebrew. To search Homebrew, it is something that allows you to install certain packages for Mac. So just go to their homepage, and here's what you need. Just copy this, and just paste it to Terminal, and then press Return or Enter. And then Homebrew will be installed. Number three, we can install Lida Zero via Homebrew on Terminal. So once again, open Terminal. Now you should already have Homebrew installed. And you should just input root install Lila dash zero and then press return. And this will install the Lila Zero algorithm on your computer. The fourth step is to download the Lila Zero training data. Again, you can find it via Google. You can do Lila Zero, and it's on the SJENG website right here. You should download the latest right here. This one is what you need from February 15th, 2021. This is downloaded. It's a large file, take a bit of time. So now we have downloaded the data to this folder, and we will need the path to this file later as we set up the engine. So if you have Sabaki, you should click here, info, and then press here. It's not that easy to find and manage engines this first line is just for you to save the log files from the zero on your sabaki to a folder so you should set it up for me it'll be this folder the go folder so make sure you have view you show the path bar here and then just copy go as path name. Then here you have it. Then add. We're adding the engine. We'll just call it Lida Zero. Here the path for your Mac would be slash opt slash homebrew slash bin slash dla z this should be the correct input for this line and next you should input dash dash gtp space dash w space and then it should be the path to the data file that you just downloaded so We'll copy the path for this one. It should be this. And then I will include some instructions on how to use Lila Zero. But you need the playouts telling the engine how many playouts you should consider before giving you an answer. And if you have a relatively fast Mac, you can do up to 
probably 20,000. But that will take time. So maybe 10,000. You can try it out. Let's say you want the engine to consider 5,000 different scenarios before it gives you an answer. Then you just say playouts space 5,000. Of course, you can test it and see how fast it reacts on your computer. And then for this setup to succeed, you need dash dash no ponder like this. And then you should be all set. There is also a text document with some instructions on the potential things you can set up on the engine. And here it is. I remember copying it from somewhere, but I can't really find it online now. But please feel free to take a look. So these are some of the other things you can try. I am not tech savvy enough to understand everything in this document. But if you are, then please feel free to take a look and play with it. But this basic setup should be able to help you start using Lila Zero on Sabaki. So after you install the Lila Zero engine, you can go to Sabaki, go to engines, make sure the engine sidebar is showing on the left, and then click here, and then click Lila Zero, and the engine will be running like this. The first time usually takes a little bit long, but this is not my first time using it, so it's relatively faster. And then you can go up to engines. Then if you do toggle analysis, you will see all the percentage numbers. These are the winning rates, winning probabilities for the side that is moving. So now it's Black's turn. Black has about 42%. White has about 57, 58% chance of winning. So that's the starting point, And that will fluctuate as the game progresses. Alternatively, you can start an engine versus engine game, or you can generate a move using the engine. The most useful way to use this AI is to analyze a pattern that you actually play yourself. This way, AI can tell you what went right and what went wrong. So for instance, we play Joseki. Here, this move is the Joseki, like this. But if you play something wrong, then Lila can tell you that this just lost you 8 percentage points of winning probability. All right, so white is down from 58 to about 50%. So number 10 is a wrong move. So if you played number 10, and you can see that the correct move is this one. So this is a very simple example of how you can use AI to help you study opening moves. Please feel free to comment and ask any questions in the comment section below. If this is your first time on my channel for this installation tutorial, you are welcome to check out all the contents on my channel as it guides you through all the basics you need to know about the game of Go. Thank you for watching.